All right, Mads, you're back in the States for a fight. Is yep. this nice? Do you, like, do you like traveling, or do you prefer that you were back home in Europe doing this? I mean, I hate traveling, but I yeah. love that I'm fighting in the States, so it's cool. I've been out here for two months training at Extreme Couture with uh, Dennis Davies and all the XC guys, so it's been good. And this is the first time you've, you've done a camp with them, right? Uh, I have done uh, some camps before, but not for that long of a time. And what, what made you choose Extreme Couture? Uh, because I've been there so many times before, and I have a very good relationship with Dennis. Uh, I live with him and his, his. I live with him and his family when I'm out here. Uh, yeah, and the fight was in the states, so I didn't want to come out here just a week before uh, because I don't feel that's enough time to get acclimated. So I came out here like two months before. One and a half months, yeah. Smart man. And this yeah. fight was actually supposed to happen on April 2nd, and yeah. it got a little delayed. That wasn't on your end. That was on no. Saul's, I believe. So was that a tough adjustment at all to, to no. bump it back a couple no. weeks? No, I was just, I got the call, and it's like, uh, yeah, the fight is postponed. It's like, oh, cool, cool. How, they told me like two weeks or something, three weeks. Like, yeah, that's fine. I'm out here anyway, so it makes no difference to me as long as I get a fight, right? Yeah. And <laughs> back when the, uh, the European series was functioning more, uh, you know, you guys would always kind of get matched up. The, the European fighters would kind of get matched up against one, one another. So was Saw somebody that was on your radar already that you felt like you would you would meet eventually in Bellator? Actually, yes. I would say that that is actually a dude I've been wanting to fight. Uh, but yeah, I, and I got the the call like, do you want to fight him? I was like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Do you like the matchup? I know fans, like when this fight got put out, mm. it was like social media buzz was surprising. I thought people would like it, but it was even more surprising than I expected. So. Uh, yeah, I haven't really looked into yeah. that, but yeah, I like the matchup, you know, it's cool. For, for sure, and you're the first fight of the night. Is that done, do you think, so that the, the audience overseas can watch? I would think it has better to be, right? to, yeah, it has to be like so the, the the European crowd can tune in and watch, right? That would be the smart move, I would think. Yeah, mm. and um, talk to me about your Bellator debut. Uh, we haven't spoken to you since then. Mm. Were you overall happy with it when you went back, watched the tape? Kind of give me your assessment. Yeah, to be honest, uh, you never want to be uh, what do you see? what do you say? Uh, you never want to be like totally happy with your performance, but in in hindsight, it was like pretty much flawless. I didn't get hit, took him. I showed a little bit stand up, showed some wrestling, took him down, showed some jujitsu, ground and pound, and got the TKO and got out of there. So it was pretty much flawless. Yeah, in and out. Yeah, and I think for for North American audiences, you know, they might tune into the U the UFCs or the American Bellators. So hmm. for, for fans that the last time they saw you was in the UFC in your last fight. How does this match compare to the one that, that left the UFC a few years ago? This match compared to the match in the UFC is way more mature uh, and understands the deeper meaning of the game. Yeah, I would say that's the big difference of uh, of the Mads Brunel a couple of years back to now. Yeah. And, and I'm sure, you know, being a young guy and making it to the UFC and then having three fights and it's kind of questionable that they let you go uh, when they did, but looking at it now, I mean, was that a good learning experience, do you think? Everything happens for a reason and you know what? I'm super happy to be here, so, yeah. you know, it's good. I'm happy and ready to go, so yeah. For sure, and you cracked the rankings as well uh, when, <laughs> when they launched. Uh, were you happy to see your name slip in there? Super happy. Of course, it's cool to be to be ranked in like, yeah, yeah. a huge promotion like Bellator. So, Does, do you think it? it I'm, this might. I think this is an obvious question, but it kind of helps you too as well. Like, plan your path to the title, right? Yeah, so when you yeah. see those names above you, does it kind of give you some motivation of going course, forward? Of course, of course, you can kind of see who who you want to like call out or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and talk to me too uh, just about the journey back to a mainstream promotion like this, a high level. I know Cage Warriors is beloved and it, they produce great fighters like yourself, but now you're back here in the U.S., so do you feel like this is kind of the, the, the new beginning for you to a certain extent? Hmm, I don't know. I, I enjoy the process. You know, um, I hear a lot of uh, old fighters that say that when they were in it, they were just focusing on the next thing and the next thing and the next thing instead of just enjoying the process. So I'm trying to be like an old school guy in a young guy's body. I don't know if this answers the question, but I just try to enjoy the process, focus on what I can control, uh, focus on what I have in front of me right now, and then go in and perform. And when I do that, it's like logic, what's gonna happen and where I'm gonna end up. So that's what I've been focusing on. And yeah, I don't know if this answers the question, but I hope, yeah. That, that, that was great. Yeah. Um, and, and how long do you think it will take you to, to kind of get into that contendership? I know you got Saul in front of you, mm. but I'm sure as a fighter, you kind of have short-term and long-term plans. So what, you, what you, like I just said, yeah. I focus on this guy right uh, in front of me right now. Yeah. After this fight, I, I assess like everything with my team and my yeah. management and we yeah. figure stuff out.
And Saul, okay, let's talk about him a little bit. Yeah. Can you break him down a little bit? What do you expect to see when you guys get in the cage? But to be honest, I always say this. If you expect or predict anything when you go into a fight, you're stupid because it's a fight. <laughs> Everything can happen. I can be running the show and he cracks me with like five seconds left. Or the other way around, he can be running the show and I crack him with five seconds left. So I just go in there, do me, whatever happens, happens. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I wish you the best of luck in doing that Thank on you. Friday. And uh, appreciate it, man. Thank hey. you. I appreciate it.